Hey folks, today we're going to take a look at why you might use uh, Microsoft PowerPoint as your platform for e-learning storyboarding. In other words, this, this would be the software that you would use to actually write a storyboard that's going to go to an e-learning format. So you might have a course that's in an existing paper format and you need a way to get it into an e-learning format. Uh, Microsoft PowerPoint or Apple's Keynote are almost identical programs and they're phenomenal for uh, e-learning storyboarding. And here's the reason why. Right now what you can see is the outline view in this PowerPoint slide that we're looking at here. And in a nutshell, what you have is your outline slides down the left. You have your master template clearly visible in the main view. And then down the bottom, you've got a provision for uh, programmer, vendor notes, and voiceover script. So let's take a look, first of all, at the outline view on the left side. And what this does is it allows us to have all of our slides sequenced uh, to the screens in your Flash or Captivate course. And what I mean is that each one of your slides has to be clearly labeled and each of your uh, slides should be should have a sequence number that matches up to the sequence number whether it's in the bottom left of your uh, Flash course or Captivate course. But the idea is that partway through the build process, inevitably, inevitably what happens is that you'll have to make a change or a revision. And you want to be able to say to the vendor or the instructional designer, whoever is actually building this course in Captivate or Flash or Toolbook or whatever the authorware program is, you want to give them specific directions. Hey, slide number seven, couplers, uh, screen 5.0-2, we need to make a change to paragraph two in the voiceover script. And this is one of the first things that we learn when it comes to e-learning storyboarding is that sequencing will save you an absolute ton of time uh, later on through the build process. So I can't stress enough how important it is to clearly label your slides and have a sequencing number that's effective for tracking the individual slides and matching them up to your screens. Okay, in the main view of PowerPoint, uh, let's take a look first of all at the top of the view here. We've got our master template and typically uh, e-learning students or viewers of your courses are going to look at your uh, e-learning course in a Z pattern. And what I mean is this, that their eyes when they first come to the course will, will come to the top left, they'll move across to the top right, they'll come across to the bottom left, and then they'll move across to the bottom right. So what we want to do is, is take advantage of the person's natural tendency for, for their eye movements. And what I mean is that's why we put the corporate identity in the top left. Course identification. Most people nowadays look at e-learning uh, in a landscape view. Anything that goes to the web is landscape. If you're talking about a book, it's portrait. But this Z pattern is crucial such that when their eyes come to the far right or the top right and move down to the bottom left, we can take advantage of that by having our graphics on the left side of the screen and having our text or bullet points on the right side. And the reason is when their eyes are at the top right and they start to move down to the bottom left, they're going to hit that title or top bullet uh, title indicator right here and it's very effective uh, for helping them stay on task and stay focused on your course content. Okay, so once again I'm going to highlight here your upper functionality and just some uh, the intro objective module and test uh, a good place to start most students especially if they're new to your particular course they may not know where to start so it's a really good idea to give them a place to start always include an intro button in your main navigation up top so they've got a place to start then they can go to the objective then the module and then get into all of the main subject points uh, that your course has to offer Okay, next your content area. This particular course has a generous content area and you might have here in addition to a main picture a bunch of smaller pictures that you're giving directions to the vendor, the instructional designer as to, to what to do and how to deal with. For example, if we look at programmer vendor notes here, let's animate the coupler connection to show secure connection. So this is a uh, course for a motorcycle student and we might have these two connectors coming together to show the, the secure connection which is the main focus of this particular slide. Really basic stuff but you don't want to take it for granted. You don't want to give your students any reason to click away. Make sure that the message is very clear. Down the bottom of the screen 
we have our bottom bar functionality. And your functionality uh, may vary to as compared to what's here, but you definitely want to have your screen sequencing numbers, your corporate copyrights. Here we got print function function. Uh, print function buttons, uh, but it could be pause play functionality buttons here. We've got some audio controls, we have an exit button, and then there's another little sub uh, menu or sub name button down here. So in a nutshell, PowerPoint gives us in the main view, we can see the master template, all the graphics that are going to be applied to a slide, and then we can come down the bottom and take a specific look or focus on programming or vendor notes, and the actual audio script that's going to be used. So these are the key reasons that you'd want to use PowerPoint as your, your storyboarding platform of choice. Um, basically, it allows us to see the forest. Instead of looking at just one tree, we can see all the elements. So again, you've got your, your slides. You can see all your slides, your sequencing numbers, your master template is carved out, and then your vendor notes um, or your audio script down below. So in addition to it being a good tool for the subject matter expert or the instructional designer who's doing the build, it's also a great tool for other managers or your boss or whatever manager might want to come over and take a quick look to see uh, that you're on track one glance and they can see oh okay he's got 10 slides master templates carved out functionalities in place uh, you know so the project is moving along fairly smoothly and that's what they're look, looking for and again that just makes this tool all that much more valuable uh, as a storyboarding tool for e-learning so I hope this has been a, a help to you I'll try and offer more tips and advice in future videos and uh, should you have any questions um, by all means don't hesitate to email us have Happy to work with you. I could even send you uh, an example template file if you, if need be. But uh, by all means, uh, send us your questions by email, and we'll, we'll try and get back as soon as we can. So again, I hope it helps, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.